What's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood French Canadian. I've just recently defeated a boss commander in Nile and I want to teach you guys how I did it because it took me literally like 10 to 15 tries to just come up with a strategy. And it worked really well. I got him on a third try uh, using exactly this. This fight is located in Castle Saul in the mountaintops of Giants. I'll put a picture of the map for you if you don't know where it is, if you're looking for it. He's actually guarding a second half of a secret medallion that will get you to another secret area and a secret boss fight. So first off, a pro tip as you're going to a boss fight, if you're using a lift to go there, send the lift back down as you're going up. Now for the mixed potion, uh, I use this, it gives me resistance and it also gives me more health. So it really helps in the beginning of the fight because how this fight starts is uh, the commander summons two knights, one with a shield and one with the double blades. So I sip on that potion and then I run towards the one with the double blades because I know that my bloody slash will stagger these guys. So I go in and I try to take them out as soon as possible. Be mindful that if you're close to the commander, he will hit you if you're fighting them. So you want to pull back and let the knights come at you so the commander will just basically stand there creepily looking at you fighting them. Because if you get too close, he will hit you as well and it makes this super hard. So you want to take the knights on one by one, you want to isolate them from the boss and you want to use a weapon art that staggers. Again, Bloody Slash, incredible for this. You can see how I blasted through this, no problem. So you actually want to bait them into doing their whirlwind attacks because it's extremely easy to dodge. You just literally roll behind them and you can stagger them. Now comes the second part or the second phase, let's say, when you're just fighting him one on one. First, use the Mimic tier. Now my Mimic tier was level one here. Obviously a level 10 would be even better, but it actually helped me a lot. Because the difficulty of this boss comes from the fact that there's not a lot of openings or chances you get to retaliate. But I found all those openings to tell you guys when to hit and when not to hit. When he's charging up his lightning foot blade or whatever and he jumps up in the air, you want to roll behind him right as he's coming down. So you'll roll essentially behind him. And now right after he does this, he will thrust the spear polearm thing at you. So you cannot hit him right after you dodge that lightning hit. So you want to dodge a lightning hit, dodge the polearm to the left. You can probably get one hit in, then he'll swing again, but the swing is pretty slow, so you can dodge again and then hit him once or twice. But after he's done this combo, he will immediately slam his polearm down and it will do a ton of damage, so you want to just get a quick one or two hits in and then run. Now if you happen to roll exactly behind him and he doesn't turn around when he does that, he will do a quick two hit combo from the back and it'll be different from the one he does from the front, so you also want to just roll left twice. And then you can hit him once, but there isn't a big opening here, so you really want him to be facing you when he does his jumping lightning attack thing. Another attack he can do, he'll basically charge you, but the swing is extremely slow, so it's really easy to dodge. Again, dodge left, and then you can hit him maybe twice if you're lucky. And then again, you have to run away because he'll do the uh, slam attack. Now, another attack you have to look out for is when he does his lightning foot dagger thing, but on the ground, like he's not jumping up, he's just like swinging at you. The way to avoid the lightning splash is to just run away. You can't just roll out of it because it arcs and like the hitbox is so big that it'll catch you even if you're rolling like behind him or something. So you really have to just run away when you see him charge up that attack. So apart from those attacks, like there isn't really a lot of openings like you're gonna see in the fight it's really difficult but don't get greedy like i did you know i was trying to get two or three hits in sometimes but just go for one or two and just really be patient with this fight let your mimic tank for you hit with your mimic especially if you're using blood blade like i am we got blood loss off on him a few times and it seems there's one attack he does i'm not sure if it's because we stunned him he's just like kneeling and chilling there but i don't think i heard the sound it makes when you stance break someone so i'm not quite sure what happened but be on the lookout that if he does this you can get some really good hits in now there's also a three hit combo he does so it'll be two slashes 
and one poke, but then immediately after it, he'll slam his staff down. So like, it looks like you have time to punish him, but you actually don't. So be on the lookout for that combo as well. You just want to dodge all of those. And the only other time I've noticed where you can actually do some damage to him is when he's slowly walking towards you, not doing anything. If you have something that's ranged or if you can charge up a heavy attack, then do it. Because those are the rare times that you actually, you know, can get some damage off on him before he swings at you. So those are the tips I have for you guys for that fight. Use staggers for the two knights in the first phase and then pop your mimic for the second phase so he can tank for you and just be patient. Let me know how this fight went for you. Let me know if you did anything different. I really hope this helped you guys and I'll see you all very soon.